When you work in Teams, you do not open and work on the central file, but copies of it. Team members will have their own file, which maintains an invisible connection to the central file and thereby the other team members. There are many ways to create a copy of a file in Windows, but we will explore the official Autodesk workflow to ensure that you understand the intended and supported workflow. Close the Active Central File from the Application menu. From the Projects area of the Recent Files page, you will notice the file that we just created. Instead of opening the file from here, which can be a bad thing, click the Open icon. Navigate to the central file and highlight it. Notice that Create New Local is selected by default. Opening the file this way prevents accidental opening of the central file, which would also prevent others from communicating with the file. It is really important to not be in the habit of opening files from Windows Explorer directly or from the Recent Files page, as Revit will not present you with this option of creating a local copy. If you open it in these other ways, it would open the central file directly, and again, that is not good. I know I'm sounding like a broken record, but I want to make sure I stress that one best practice. Click Open and you now have a new file with your login name appended to the file. This project is stored in your My Documents folder by default, and the location is controlled within the Revit options. I will select the Application menu and click Options at the bottom. On the General tab of the Options dialog is the username that it's adding to this file. On the File Locations tab, you can find the default path for user files. This is where Revit will place any automatically created local files, as well as the folder first navigated to for File Open and Save dialogs. On my workstation, I have configured Revit to use C colon backslash Revit local files for simplicity and to separate the files from my documents which are considered more long term. The local files should really be thought of as temporary. You will synchronize your work with the server a few times per day. As a matter of fact, it is best practice to recreate the local file at least once per week. Autodesk recommends once per day. Bear in mind that Revit local files do not have to reside on your local computer. However, interacting with the file is far more efficient when it's truly local. I will open Windows Explorer to show the file and backups. Notice the file name structure. If we had decided to use the word central in the name, then the local copy would be named project hyphen central hyphen your login name dot rvt so you can see where this would be confusing as to what is a central and what is not since we have the word work shared in the name this can achieve the same goal without adding confusion so by using a naming convention like this you will know when a project has work sharing enabled and if it does not have your username suffix or doesn't have your username stay out. The final step to make the project ready for others to create work sets and or modify building model elements is to relinquish the work sets we created. If you open the work sets dialog you will notice that your username appears in the owner column. Close this dialog. We will now click on the synchronize icon on the quick access toolbar. This icon will not appear before work sharing is enabled in a project. Be sure that the user created work sets and any other checkboxes which are not gray are checked. Notice that the local file will also be saved before and after synchronization to be sure that the local and central files are identical. Click OK to synchronize and save these settings. Reopening the Worksets dialog will show 
that your username no longer appears as the owner of worksets. These worksets are now available to become editable by any team members. By relinquishing, we have done the same as selecting each workset and clicking the Not Editable button. This releases your name from the Owner column and changes the editable value to No. Instruct others on your project to create their local copies at this time. They would simply navigate to the central file from the Revit Open dialog and accept the default setting of Create New Local. They can begin work immediately.